El El Ingenioso Hidalgo Don Quixote de la Mancha has been added to your evidence folder. Is there anything else you wanted to know? Well, that was something else. No, I think that's everything. Thank you. What's the plan, Big Bird? Well, we have two lines of inquiry. We should head to the scene of the crime, the the Pérez de Lourdes, and see if we can find any clues or witnesses. And we should interview the flower girl in Le Hall, in Le Hall to mark it to see if she has anything to say about this alleged poisoned rose. Two tasks spread over for, uh, uh, over for six days? This almost sounds too easy. It's not complacent. <clears throat> Good luck, senores. Okay, so what were the two things? We have rose. poison rose. You gotta you gotta check out the Louvre and yeah, check okay. out the scene of the crime there. Got it. And you gotta interview the uh, the flower girl. Got it. Yeah, yeah. And you gotta fuck my butthole. Oh, wait a minute, Falcon. What is it? Did something seem off about Prince Juan to you? Yeah, his accent was all over the place. <laughs> he seemed off. You picked up on it too. It's like the fox was hiding something. It sounds like we're on the same page. Which is bad, because I am a sociopath, you see. <laughs> Look, if this is bothering you, we could always ask around. Maybe someone in the city knows Juan's dirty little secret. If he actually has anything yeah, to hide, that is. <laughs> yeah, let's dig up the dirt and eat the worms underneath it. But we still got a trial to prepare for. Priority, Sparrowson. Look, I've, I'm going better call Saul with this shit. <laughs> yeah! And, like... Nothing, like, n like, I'm, like, justice is not my priority. Winning is my priority. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, 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 we proved that with the first case. Yeah. <laughs> well, before I was actually trying, and then I was oh, just yeah. wrong. This well, time, yeah. I don't. This time, I'm just doing what, I'm doing me now. I wonder if that stuff's gonna come back up, because... Oh, like, yeah, probably. It's kind of like, uh... Don't don't listen to it. Well, the ones with the clocks, I think, are ones that are time sensitive. I guess. Yeah. So. No, those are the ones that like take yeah, the take rest of your day. day. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. What, which one was the scene of the crime? Uh, uh the, the Louvre. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to to interrogate. No, well, it's still fresh in people's minds. Yeah. Not that it ever matters, but. Vulcan and Sparrowson make their way to the Palace du Carousel. The courtyard is just north of the Louvre's Grand Gallery. That's the Arc de Triomphe over there, right? I swear it's smaller than how I remembered it. That's the Arc de, that's the Arc de Triomphe du Carousel, you doofus. The big Arc de Triomphe is up the road. What? No way! Why are there two? Because when a man like Napoleon invades half of Europe, he gets to build as many triumphal arches as he damn well pleases. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit! Well, 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 I never expected to see you here, JJ. I thought you was cold. <laughs> yeah. There's already a rooster that was a different rooster, I know. but I don't care. I, I like that so much. That <laughs> All roosters bring sound it back. alike. That, that arrogant voice. Good day, Severin. Let's be civil, JJ. Why don't you introduce me to your new assistant? Fine, fine, Severin. This is Sparrowson, my assistant. Sparrowson, this is Severin Cocorico, the most pompous prosecutor in Pelion. <laughs> oh, are you two old school friends or something? More like arch rivals. Please, JJ. I think arch rivals implies some sort of competition. <laughs> As I recall, I, we've never. We've met in court on five occasions, and on five occasions did you get humiliated terribly. <laughs> I'm amazed a failing bird brain like you is still able to get clients. Watch my peck at the ground. Actually, Severin, <laughs> business has never been better. I'll have you know that I'm currently being employed by the Prince of Spain, no less. The Prince of Spain? Juan <laughs> Carrero? Well, well, this is quite an amusing coincidence. <laughs> Don't tell me. 
Correct. I am the prosecutor for the very same case. <clears throat> it's a, it is a pity that the Spanish prince will in, in, yeah, indu, uh, indubitably, indubitably. indubitably hang, but I suppose that that is what he gets for hiring a bird brain to represent him. Don't call me a bird brain. You're the only bird brain here, Saberin. Tisk. One always speaks badly when one is, has nothing to say. Voltaire. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's giving you the verbal smackdown. <laughs> Quick, Falcon. Make a witty retort. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Remember your glue for real? Uh, <laughs> a winning saying proves nothing. I don't agree with what you say. I think a winning saying proves yeah, nothing. Think, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good way to go. It's the best. Shut it all down. Yeah, just, just don't engage him. But what he's saying proves nothing, Voltaire. Oh, well. <laughs> there was once a large black man named Nigger Jim. Voltaire. <laughs> what no, was that, that was a Louis C.K. bit. Yeah, was I know. talking about yeah, Mark yeah, Twain. This is the Mark Twain thing. I remember. <laughs> he I said remember a that. man who... Oh! 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 oh, damn, Falcon. Very good, JJ. A worthy repost. But enough talk, if you monsieur messieurs. Would, uh, that's, that's pronounced messieurs. If you messieurs <laughs> would excuse me, I have a case to prepare for and quite a lot of chickens to get fertilized. <laughs> JJ Sparrison, I'll see you two in court. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't stand that guy. He did seem like a bit of a a cut a cock cock rail. What? <laughs> but but is it true what he said? You know that he he trounced you in court five times. I can't deny it. Saverin has a reputation as a ruthlessly thorough and pros fuck prosecutor. <laughs> Mountains of evidence, surprise witnesses. It's no wonder he always manages to one up me. But this time will be different, right? I hope so. I know so, for you see, I stole this idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I noted Matt from the Louvre out of uh, uh, Coker, Coker, uh, pocket when uh, he was busy rattling off Voltaire. <laughs> God damn it, Spurs. That's, that's, <laughs> that's pretty impressive. That's pretty illegal. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dirty lawyer all the way now. Okay, this <laughs> is... Pretty impressive, actually. I swear you were standing three meters away the whole time. You tall birds are are so busy with your heads in the clouds that you don't even ever notice a small folk running around your feet. Uh, pinching co- uh, Oh, jeez. <laughs> Morty. Rit, Morty. Uh, pinching pinching uh, Cocorico. Thank you. I am never going to say Like Cocorico Village. Oh, oh, yeah. No, that's a good way to think of it. Cocorico's pocket... Was like taking candy from a very tall baby. Which is fine, but by he's fine. By <laughs> <me. Let's take laughs> Shadow. I see. This map shows the entire Louvre area. Everything from the Tuileries to the Rue de Louvre. Most convenient. So, what's this? <laughs> so up here? I don't know how to read it. I think that... We're currently standing here in the Place de Carousel. Right here. <laughs> right here. And those pendant arrows seem to show the route taken by the king's entourage, which means the king went f first went to the Sol de Tibre. Sol de Tibre. Wait, wait. Here, this is. This is hard. I don't think I'm gonna remember this. Uh, you went to the Sol du Tibri first. That's the uh, the tiger sail. So we first went here, and then and then here to the Grand right. Gallery, where the murder occurred. Yes, the murder happened. Oh, it's only two gallery. things. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we kind of ducked off for a while here. Yeah, and then he went to the the, the, the where the murder happened. Okay. Did, did Prince Juan did say that he? Uh, like, no, that's you. Okay. <laughs> did Prince Juan say that he spent the morning in the uh, <laughs> Tilibre's garden? 
<laughs> That's right. So that means Prince Juan approached the lure from the west side, somewhere over here. So. Here. Okay, so. Sounds like we have a lot of places to visit. Where should we go first? Alright, so. So the prince came from over there in the garden, but like he, the murder happened in the gallery, and for a while the king was over there in the Sol de Tu. I tibre. try like tracing the king's path. Yeah, Sol Tebre, and then go to the, like, the gallery and see. It. Yeah, this is the Sol de Tibre. If I understand Cocorico's notes correctly, this is the room the king and his entourage stopped in before heading to the grand gallery. This room doesn't seem to be very popular. I don't see anyone around to interrogate. Interview? Right. Interview. Well, since it's quite since it's quiet, maybe we should take the oppor yeah, take the opportunity to do do a little snooping. <laughs> what would be the point? Surely all the interesting <laughs> evidence would be in the grand gallery where the murder took place. Think about it, Falcon. The police would have already gone over the grand gallery with a fine tooth comb. But I bet the nu the numbskull inspector, uh, uh, Volteri, didn't even think to check this room for clues. There might be a murder weapon just under our beaks. Your logic seems a little questionable, but couldn't hurt to have a look, I suppose. Ugh. I hope this is gonna be like last time we rediscovered the fucking picture and it like completely changed. Like, when yeah, you saw it. that was yeah. weird. The supporting <laughs> column, it's holding the roof up. Oh. If the column were truly supportive, it wouldn't hold the roof up. It would encourage the roof to get to its location on time. <laughs> uh, Damn it. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. How about this one? How about this smart beam? These columns have been designed to look Roman. I think the style is ionic. <laughs> yes, it would be. <laughs> it would have... <laughs> It's not Ionic, uh, Falcon. <laughs> Ion is when a character says something, but the reader knows it means something completely different. Ten out of ten. I love, I love this game. That's not... Never mind. <laughs> That's wonderful. I love that. A shiny copper urn. I guess it was used for carrying water, or for cremated remains. Probably not both at the same time. <laughs> I got some chocolate human mix. Good, good job, Falcon. Yeah. It smells good. Don't sniff the exhibit, Sparrison. No, really. The urn smells amazing. It's almost chocolatey. Uh, okay. Dun, dun, dun. You poor thing. You're hallucinating from hunger. Would you like to stop by a bakery on our way back to the office? Don't patronize me, Falcon. My nose never lies. I'm telling you, there's something in here. I can feel it, because my hand's already in it. Now you're touching the exhibit? That's definitely a no-no. See? That's <laughs> what I found in the urn. <laughs> oh, that was you. No, that's fine. Put that down, Sparrowson. It's someone's old rubbish. No, look! It's a chocolate wrapper! Judging by the smell, the chocolate was bitter and dark. Seventy, perhaps eighty percent cocoa. Belgian in origin. How the fuck do you know... The level of wrapper crumpling <laughs> and the firmness of the chocolate residue indicate that this was this was discarded just a few days ago. Yes, I am certain the chocolate contained in this wrapper was undoubtedly consumed on the 7th of <laughs> January, the day of the murder. Sparrison, <laughs> you're insane. Yeah, you're I don't fucking think, nuts. I don't think any of that is true. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is murder chocolate. Mon dieu, Sparrison! You deduced all that from smelling the wrapper? Imagine what I could work out if I tasted it! <laughs> that won't be necessary. <laughs> Too Sparrison, nice. if you could apply this level of critical thinking to areas outside of food, you'd be the world's most greatest detective. If only all evidence were edible! So, do you have any idea which shop this chocolate was purchased from? That might help us track down the person who consumed it. No, there's no possible way we could know that. <laughs> How about... Real, can I read the wrapper at, or, the, okay. or the tag? 
I suppose we will just have to visit every <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> confectionaire in town and and sample every bit of merchandise for comparison. What a chore! Interesting. Because I can see Lander Higlaslack's chocolate <laughs> emporium written on the wrapper. Well, you can't blame a bird for trying. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. Some sort of stand or podium? Maybe it's just a decorative piece. It's a Roman doorstop! Do Roman's doors uh, were enormous marble slabs, so the doorstops had to be similarly large in order to stay in place. I don't think that's right. My uncle is a Roman historian, trust me. <laughs> yeah. My uncle works at Nintendo, trust me. Sonic is in Mario World 2. <laughs> I see a cabinet full of engraved plates, mostly bronze. How much do you think they are worth? I don't know, 300 francs a piece at least. What? Are you serious? I'm in the wrong profession! I don't think archaeology works on a get-rich-quick scheme for sparrows. <laughs> Who said anything about archaeology? I'm going to become a museum robber. God damn it! He's oh, just got. Hey, hey, that's one way to get rich quick. If this game, this whole game, was an end with like a you versus Sparrison yeah. case, <laughs> I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. Yeah. Like you have to defend Sparrison? Yeah, like like, cause, like he's fucking like of all the tampering of evidence and shit he yeah. does, like. All the stuff you were totally complicit in. Yeah. <laughs> this is some sort of ceremonial container. It's beautifully crafted, but what did it contain? Maybe it's an arcane wine cabinet. Ar okay. Don't be so ignorant, Falcon. This is a sacred Mesopotamian artifact gifted to Emperor uh, Hadrian for his victory at uh, Euphrates in 123 AD. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Stop making stuff up. You and I both know nothing about Mesopotamia. <laughs> alright, alright, you got me. This could be a hippo's chamber pot for all I know. It's... That thing I sent you? Uh, that's everything, right? Looks like you got the evidence. Yeah, looks so like there's no more highlightable things. There. We're done here, for now at least. We can't spend all day staring at Roman artifacts, I suppose. So where, are t where to next? Then he went here, and then here. Uh, no, no, I think he went to the gallery, straight to the he gallery. He just went to the gallery, and then he got killed. Okay. He got killed. What were we going to the carousel for? That's just where you started. Yeah. That's oh, okay. Started. That's that's where we yeah. were. Got it. Here we are, the grand gallery, the murder room. I believe the murder occurred right under the new painting. I see hundreds of paintings. Which one is the new one? I haven't the foggiest. We'll have to ask someone. Uh, do you want to do this one? Please don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. Excuse me, Monsieur. Looks like you know your Mona Lisas from your last suppers. <laughs> you look I don't like want you any know. attention. Maybe he isn't talking to me. <laughs> nope, he's definitely talking to me. Keep it together, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hi. Did you happen to know which painting un was unveiled on the 7th of January? The one the king came to visit? Oh yeah! I can help you with that! It's the piece right behind you! <laughs> ah, I see. It's a painting of the king himself. Uh, this penguin in a fucking suit. I don't know why this... That one's making me laugh. Really <laughs> <long>. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Uh, that's a noble-looking penguin! What do you think of it, Falcon? What do I think? Well, I'm no art critic, but... I yeah. know it is. It's a magnificent painting of our beloved king. It's a masterpiece. Well, really? We must be looking at different paintings, because <laughs> all I'm seeing is a penguin in a fancy dress. I'm getting the impression that you must use art regulars at art galleries. No. We're a right... Pair of Philistines. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Falcon. I've never seen. I've, I've never even <laughs> been to the belly. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, wonderful. <laughs> That's good. Then I'm guessing you're here to investigate the king's assassination attempt? That's right. We were actually hoping we could ask you a couple questions about what you saw. Oh. I wasn't even in Paris when the murder took place, I didn't see anything. But, uh, I have a friend who might be able to help you out. 
What's this? R&M Associates, the home of the Renard Wolfs. Wolfs, private investigator? Whoops. Well, thank you, but I don't normally deal with these gray area of the law types, so yes we do. Yeah, we totes do. <laughs> yeah, look at, look, at that, look at that dead-eyed stare. Yeah, right <laughs> at that guy right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is stealing from you right now. <laughs> no, please give the guy a chance. He helped me out of a binder before. I'm sure he can do the same for you. Well, I'm not making any promises, but I'll keep a hold of the card. We'll appreciate the help in any case. It's no trouble. Thank you for Our damn business sir. card has been added to your inventory. Is there anything else we can do here besides pooping our pants? <laughs> well, ideally, we would turn the whole grand gallery upside down in our hunt for evidence. That's not possible with so many people around. We should probably just move to another room. <laughs> uh, <sighs> yeah, Head to Letulia's garden. Our feather-headed friends wander through the immaculately maintained Tulia's gardens. Nothing seems out of the ordinary until they spot a familiar face picking up litter by the tree line. Hey, Falcon! Doesn't that groundskeeper over there look familiar? Yeah. Now that I'm looking at him, he does look a bit oh, like that photographer. Yeah, that's right. What's the... his name? I forgot his name. Bruno. Oh, wait. Bono. Bono Baguette. <laughs> Bono Baguette. What is the fucking Sarado JoJo character? Serenado. Bono Baguette sounds like a Robitio Robinio. Huh? Oh, I forgot. I don't know. I don't he, know he, he was Dio. Oh, was he the, like, e super evil guy? Yeah, he was, did someone, did call, someone yeah. call me? Oh, it's you. The lawyers who don't appreciate a masterful photograph when they see it. It's good to see that you gave up on your artsy <laughs> dreams on, uh, to pursue the more grounded career of groundskeeping. <laughs> hey, I'm not doing this willingly. I was given community service for committing perjury. Can you believe that? They gave me an esteemed photographer community service. Me! Yeah, I can believe that. Perjury is somewhat serious. You should be thankful that you got off without jail time. <sighs> you sound just like that self-righteous Judge Maxime. <laughs> so, you, you did want to... Oh, shit. So, <laughs> did you two want to ask me something, or are you just here to go? I thought it was a guap. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was you just here to go. Go. <laughs> It's always like a bunch of dollar bills in your mouth. <laughs> He takes a gun out, takes a bunch, because he's a photographer, so I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rim <Remember> McGuire. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like dollar bills hanging out of his coats and shit. <laughs> he's come here to guap. <laughs> just here to guap. Personally, Personally <laughs> I'm just guapping. Swear <laughs> <laughs> just, just swallows a whole roll of hundreds. <laughs> I'm just guap. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I do have a couple of questions. If you don't mind, Monsieur Rubinho. <laughs> I don't suppose you bumped into a Spanish fox who goes by the name of Prince Juan, have you? A Spanish fox? No, I've never met anyone like that. If this is about that assassination attempt on the king, then you're asking the wrong person. I only started working here today. I see. Was there anything else you wanted? How's groundskeeping going? Loser? How's that new groundskeeping job working out? Terrible tourist pigs! <laughs> Sometimes literally. Racist! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this rubbish I found. Beer bottles, tin cans, apple cores. And look what I picked up in this west entrance. A book page. <laughs> a whole book I could understand, but a single page? What kind of blithering moron loses just one page? It's gonna be Don Quixote. Yeah, yeah. Wait a moment, may I take a closer look at that, Monsieur? Don Quixote, yep. That's a page from Don Quixote. 
May I take it off your hands, Monsieur? Sure. What's it worth to you? What's it worth? It's trash. It's literally worthless. Then I suppose I'll be destroying it as per my duty. <laughs> all right, all right. I suppose you deserve a little more compensation for your trouble. How about you give me that page and... You should say you'll speak with the judge, because that's, that's yeah. like, five francs is nothing. Yeah. But you're a lawyer, you can getting, talk to getting the Getting photos in the Louvre is like total lies. Like, yeah, there's you, no you, way you don't, you you don't have the one. connections to like reasonably accomplish that, but you you know, you're a lawyer. We know that one guy, judge. though, that like was working in the, like, doesn't he work there? That The guy that we met in, inside the Louvre earlier? Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, we maybe. know him, but like, I don't know about we'll, that. We'll, we'll do this. I'll speak with the judge, Maxi. In a, I'll put in a good word and might be able to get your sentence reduced. Really? You'll do that for me? Thank you, Monsieur. I would really appreciate that. Here, take the page. Page 44 of El Ingenioso Hidalgo de Don Quixote de la Mancha. Page has been added to your edit edivins folder. Edivins. Edivins. Unless there's evidence. I am Ed Evans. <laughs> Private Eye. <laughs> See, I will never defend the men who make amends with any enemies. Yeah. Like, I would never, I would never pretend. Yeah. Unless there is evidence. No, which... that... Yeah. So, I guess I would pretend? Yeah. <laughs> A lot, actually. Did you want to ask <laughs> something? Did you want to ask something else? That's all. We'll let you get back to your work, Monsieur Robinho. Alright, so... The place to carousel? Yeah. We go in here one more time. Let's see if anything's different. This is... Uh, okay, so nothing. Are we all... Are we all done here? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to do. Yep, let's make a move. Good call! We can always come back later if we've forgotten something. Take us all day, but yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah.